Welcome to Configuring Equinix Connect Part 2 of 3. In this video, we will cover single homed architectures. In Part 3 of this series, we will cover dual homed architectures. If you'd like to revisit Part 1 or skip to Part 3 of this video series, look for the video links in the description. Single homed architectures. Single home direct PA provider assigned IP addresses. Most common for out of band applications. This is a very simple configuration. The customer is using a flat network, meaning there is no routed network. The default IP address assigned is a slash 30, meaning that the customer will have one usable IP address for configuring their firewall or switch. If the customer wants to have more IP addresses behind that, they can purchase them from Equinix using the POF EC additional IP addresses. Their choices are slash 29 or slash 28 or slash 27 for IPv4, slash 64 or slash 48 for IPv6. The example shown here is for a customer with a slash 29. Single Home Direct PI or Provider Independent. This is the most common configuration for out-of-band applications. This is the same as the previous example, except that the customer wants to use their own subnet and does not want to run BGP. Equinix has to originate the prefix subnet. Note that the customer's own subnet has to be greater than or equal to a slash 24. Single Home Static PA or Provider Assigned IP Addresses In this example, the customer is using a routed network behind their devices. Customer points the default route to the first IP on the slash 30 point-to-point -point subnet. The diagram on the side is using slash 28 as an example for the routed subnet with the slash 30 assigned free of charge. In this case, PA indicates that the customer is purchasing additional IP addresses from Equinix. The IPv4 choices are slash 30, slash 29, slash 28, or slash 27. The IPv6 choices are slash 64 or slash 48. Single home static PI, provider independent. This is similar to the previous example except here the customer wants to use their own subnet and does not want to run BGP. Equinix originates the prefix subnet. Note that the customer's own subnet has to be greater than or equal to slash 24. The diagram on the side is using the customer slash 24 for the routed subnet with the slash 30 assigned free of charge by Equinix. Single home BGP PA or provider assigned IP addresses with private ASN and PA space. Here the customer needs the assignment from Equinix for both private ASN and PA space. Equinix provides an IPv4 slash 30 or IPv6 slash 126 for configuration. BGP policy is used to select default routes, full routes, default plus full routes. Getting additional IP addresses from Equinix becomes mandatory using the POF EC additional IP addresses. IPv4 choices are slash 29, slash 28, or slash 27. IPv6 choices are slash 64 or slash 48. Single homed BGP PI provider independent, public or private ASN with PI space. Most common for backup or secondary internet access. This customer has their own PI space. Customer's own subnet has to be greater than or equal to slash 24. They either have their own public ASN or are using a private ASN with an LOA assigned by Equinix. Equinix provides an IPv4 slash 30 or IPv6 slash 126 for a configuration. BGP policy is used to select default routes, full routes, Default plus full routes. Aggregated billing. This is only supported in select locations such as Australia. Think of this as two separate and independent single home services, but the traffic usage is added or aggregated together as one billing service. All single home configurations are supported, but this example shows 
two single homed in different IBXs, direct static PA only can be used, two IP addresses are assigned from different IBX pools, no redundancy control from Equinix is provided. The IP assignment will be based on the direct or static configuration rules. Thanks for watching. Thank you.